to the top of the hour, and we're about 10 minutes away from the polls closing in eastern Canada. All the initial indications are that this is going to be too close. The turnout for this referendum is easily the highest on record. In fact, he said he's never seen anything like it. And we must caution you, at this point, all we can safely say is this referendum will be very, very close. Michael? Very close indeed. Thank you, John. Once again, the question before the Canadian people is this. Do you give the government of Canada the mandate to execute the proposed union with the United States of America? If the vote is yes, the Confederation of Canada will be dissolved, and our nation will be split into six states joining our neighbors to the south. The newly minted states will retain control over such matters as natural resources and health care, and the Canadian dollar will be converted at par, representing a windfall to the Canadian people. For America, the Union offers security, a unified continent with a common perimeter of defense. Mr. Prime Minister. Ex-Prime Minister. What can I say? I'm perverse. The terms of the proposal have already been passed in both houses of the United States Congress, and tonight the Canadian people will finally decide whether or not to ratify. Our nation's journey to this historic crossroads has seemingly been inexorable. From free trade to NAFTA to today, Canada has slowly been moving toward union. Matters accelerated two years ago when former Prime Minister Tom McLaughlin's deal to sell water to the United States provoked outrage so severe that the government was forced to accept U.S. troops to restore order, temporarily suspending Parliament. Gradually, relations between the two countries normalized, and the move toward union was renewed, led by the North American water grid, which will soon be complete with the inclusion of Texas. Former Secretary of Defense William Stanfield used his successful handling of the Canadian crisis to propel him into the presidency. In fact, this evening could be titled, The Legacy of Tom McLaughlin, which brings us to tonight's momentous crossroads, more profound than any we have faced since 1867 and the formation of our country. We're now getting some early results. The returns from Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan and Alberta are all trending yes, but it's close, no question. We should just remind ourselves how a yes vote would work. Canada would be redrawn into six states, the state of British Columbia, the state of Alberta, the state, the state of, of Ontario, the state of Quebec, Saskatchewan, the Maritime State. These new states would send 12 senators and 50 congressmen to Washington, D.C. I'm being told that we are now ready to call the vote. Well, there you have it. It is now official. By a narrow margin, but a majority nonetheless, Canadians have voted to dissolve our nation and merge with the United States of America. God help us. Congratulations.